Okay, this week's video is brought to you by Harry's. Harry's is a men's personal care brand reinventing the way you shave. I've been using Harry's system for about six months now, and I noticed two things. I noticed that I first shave more often because the refills are only $2 each. Then on top of that, I consistently get the best shave I've ever had. Um, I love the fact that it's a startup. I love the fact that there's a couple of guys that got sick and tired of paying for over-designed expensive razors, Jeff and Andy. Uh, raised a bunch of money, bought a factory in Germany that had been making blades for over 100 years, and now they literally help millions of men get a close shave every day. They just came out with their sharpest blades ever, and they didn't even raise their price. I also love the fact that they support great causes too. They give 1% of every sales to organizations that promote better mental health care for men's and veterans. Okay, Harry's has an amazing deal going right now in their trial set. You'll get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave, and you'll be supporting our channel at the same time. You can redeem your trial set for just $3 when you go to harrys.com slash redpoppy. Again, make sure you go to harrys.com slash redpoppy to redeem your offer and join the 10 million people who have tried Harry so far. When Cedar and I were first married, we used to spend our weekends going to local yard sales, trying to find affordable antiques and things that we could afford at that time in our life. At one of these yard sales, I happened to find a book on how to build log cabins. That book sat on my nightstand for years. I would thumb through that book, looking at the different notches, telling myself at some point I will build a log cabin. The book went into great detail about how log cabins are built different depending on the region they happen to be in. As life happened to us, the book got filed away and disappeared. Just the other day while looking for some stuff, I happened to stumble across that book again. There was part of me that thought, maybe I should have waited on this little cabin until I could build a proper log cabin. But then there was part of me that remembered that the last time I saw that book was nearly 20 years ago.
As family life happens, sometimes the ideas and the dreams that I had when I was young never amounted to a whole lot. But having a little cabin is one of those things that I'm going to make work one way or the other. If it means that it has to be built in a conventional framing fashion, rather than a real log cabin, so be it. But mark my words, I'll build a log cabin one of these days. For me, the scary part about life is the older I get, the faster it goes by. If we're not careful, too much life goes by before we pursue some of these things that we thought we had to have when we were younger. The older I get, the more I realize that life's about building little cabins in the woods. This week was my wife Cedar's birthday. We spent a good portion of that day together driving around the area with the intention of going antiquing again. But unfortunately, most of the stores were closed. As we drove around, and I enjoyed the scenery as I always do when I'm driving, I told Cedar that I felt like this life that we're living right now is a reward for taking risks that most people just don't take. Who loads up their five kids, moves 800 miles away, to a new town without a job to start over in their 40s. Now, as of right now, because of the crazy world that we live in, there are probably more people doing just that than ever before. But six months ago, it was unheard of. Many people are finding out just how expendable their jobs might be in the market right now. Many people are having their worlds turned upside down. It's a great time to take a risk. Many people live life looking in the rear view mirror, wishing they'd done things different. So back to my little cabin. Maybe it's not the perfect log cabin that I envisioned building when I was 22 years old, but it's close enough. Maybe it's not the absolute best location, but it's close enough. I firmly believe in the universal law that fortune rewards the bold.
There's most certainly more to life than money. And again, we're all figuring that out right now. But fulfilling just a small part of our dream by building a little cabin in the woods is something that I will think back fondly of and I promise I will never regret. On the one hand, the only regret that I've had over the last four and a half years as we've built our off-grid homestead is why didn't we do this sooner? But the truth is, I don't know if I could have done it at any other time in my life. I ran over to the neighboring sawmill and picked up just enough one by 12 by eight foot rough sawn boards to do the board and batten siding with. And I fully anticipated to spend a small fortune on the wood as the price of lumber has gone crazy. And to my good fortune, the prices really haven't changed that much, at least on this particular type of wood. As I installed the board and batten on the little cabin up here, it made me smile because it's amazing what a little bit of properly placed wood can do aesthetically. Board and batten is timeless. While historically, the board and batten style of building is often connected to the poor and misfortunate. In our situation, it fits perfectly. All right, I was hoping I could get the board and batten finished, but I'm out of nails, I'm out of gas, it's 7 p.m., I'm tired. Uh, I'm probably going to have to hold off on this for a little bit. Um, the trusses are scheduled to be delivered at some point tomorrow. Um, I need to go pick up the boom lift. I need to go pick up fuel. I need to move some stuff around. Um, it's a 53-foot semi that's coming up my driveway. I don't know how we're going to do this. So... As much as I want to come back up here and finish this in the morning, I'm not going to do it. So it might be a little while before I get back up here. So hopefully tomorrow the trusses show up and I'll, I'm going to start setting the trusses on the shop tomorrow. So. Oh, and by the way, the trusses are here.